Hi YouTube! Today I wanted to do a little video to talk about my new pet. This is Tonkin and he is a white dove. He is actually albino. Um, you can tell he's a dove by his size and shape and some of his characteristics, but because his feet are pink, put them up there for you to see. His feet are pink. And his eyes look black on here, but they're like a red color. Um, he is actually an albino. And he's a very, very nice bird. Very nice bird. Um, if you're interested in getting a dove, I actually got this one as a present for graduating college. And Tonkin is an awesome bird. He's very calm. As you can see, he's just standing on my finger. And occasionally, you know, he'll try to flap or rustle his feathers and clean himself, but his wings are clipped so he can't um, fly away. And I was always a person who was thinking that clipping wings was um, painful or horrible. I mean, I'm animal rights all the way and I, I'm a vegetarian and all those things, but Tongan doesn't mind whenever you clip, it, clip his wings or his beak. It's more just like trimming your fingernails. and as long as you know where to clip and you can do it and you're comfortable with your pet and you're both um, able to sit there and, and do it comfortably, there's, there's really no problem with it. Um, doves are bottom dwellers and when I say that I mean that when you get a cage and you decide that you are going to um, put your dove in the cage they don't like to jump up on perches like cockatiels or African greys or anything like that. They more prefer to stay on the bottom of their cage. Now, because I thought that Tonkin needed some more stimuli and doves don't really play with toys, I kind of took the perches and made them really low and made teeny tiny steps with perches. So he can climb up, but he's not just going to fly up on the perch. It's not it's not in him to do that. Um, trying to think other things about him. Oh, make sure you get millet and you hang it from the cage. And that helps. It aids in digestion and it keeps them busy. Uh, also, a cuddle bone is really good to keep their beak short and it provides minerals. And then I got some ground up clamshells. It's kind of this grit or um, something rough that they can eat. They sell it in boxes at PetSmart and some other local places. I'm sure if you go to a local pet store they'd have it. It aids in their digestion. And then just small seeds. Um, I do actual dove food, but you can do um, finch food or um, like canary food, something small. Um, but this is Tonkin and this is, like I said, this is my first video on Tonkin, so if you have questions about him or questions about doves or pigeons and how to care for them, please post specific questions. I will get back to you. I check this every day. Uh, post a video response, anything. I mean, I'm new at this too, but it's not too hard. Like I said, look how sweet he is. He's just like the cutest thing in the entire world. And he's absolutely calm and amazing. But yeah, I'll post some more videos, like maybe wing clipping or, oh, there he's flying. Or let's see if I can get him to do it. There, he kind of opened his wings. But um, trimming beaks or his toenails, his little claws, anything like that. So just please, if you have questions, post them. Otherwise, have a nice day.